Hello Leo, welcome to Aetherized Tarot, how are you doing? Thank you so much for being here. This is going to be a general love reading for my wonderful Leos in Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus. This is a timeless message, it's for whenever you come across it. It is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with every single person out there. But I do hope that you find it useful, helpful, at least enjoyable. As always, I would say take what does resonate, leave what doesn't for somebody else. If you come across this reading, there's probably something in the message here for you. So, Leo, I'm going to get straight into a spread for you today, asking lots of specific questions about you and the person who's coming through in this reading. I will also be digging as, as needed, get as much extra detail or clarification that we need. So, can I get the top eight cards for my wonderful Leos, please? Now, this is a love reading. I'm going to be asking uh, about you, the connection between you and a particular person who comes through in the spread. Although this is love, it can be to do with a relationship that is significant for you, so you might find that it resonates in some sort of other aspect, whether it's platonic or family or friend, but this is a love reading, so it's most likely going to be a romantic interest of some sort. So, let me get the top eight cards for my Leos, please. Okay. Wow. Ooh. Mm, okay, all right. Uh, at the bottom of this first deck, we have the star, the wheel of fortune, ooh, the hermit. Wow, okay. That's a lot of major arcana, and there is a lot in the spread as well, I have to say, Leo, but we've got Aquarius and Virgo energy strong there. Okay, I'm just going to get straight into getting the full spread out and then I'm going to go through each position for you. So bear with me while I get this laid out, but I do prefer to do it on camera so you can see me do it. I'll get the top eight cards from this deck as well, please. I mean, it feels like from the bottom of that first deck, there's been a long delay or a long uh, for some something that someone once wished for may have been an element of divine timing at play or that something wasn't ready to come into fruition before. It may be that someone has been on some sort of journey themselves which has delayed things somewhat, some delayed something that you wanted from coming through because this person had their own journey to go on first but let's see okay wow whoa my god okay oh I see yep yeah. okay all right, interesting. At the bottom of this deck, we have the Hanged Man, the Sun, <laughs> more Major Arcana, Six of Cups. Okay. Yeah, the star is at the other end of the deck on this one as well. Um, so there's definitely, there's may have been a time of you and this person not speaking, Leo, um, because I definitely see some, like a, like a time out, uh, maybe a break, maybe you've been on a break from each other of some sort, or maybe you've just been um, getting on with your own stuff, but there hasn't been uh, a good flow of communication between the two of you in the meantime. It's like things between the two of you, it's like being on an awkward pause of some sort, but there is, someone has been doing a lot of reflecting, that could be you, Leo, I mean with the the hanged man again and we just i just said that the hermit was at the um, the bottom of the first deck the hanged man again talks about something was put in a state of um put on pause by the universe if you like or by fate or divine timing again we could say because someone needs to do someone wasn't quite ready and it may be that they thought they were ready before but uh, the universe had other ideas. 
Now that could be you, you could have thought I was ready for something in the past and then actually it's just as well that there was this pregnant pause is what I want to, I want to say, uh, just popped into my head. I don't, don't know when the last time it was that I used that phrase. And I don't mean that that's necessarily means that there's a pregnancy, like an actual literal one going on, but it's just that this, this pause is actually going to bear fruit. It's going to be beneficial because it's given someone the time to really assess maybe what's important, what they want, what they want their future to look like. It could have been that they were in a acting very, well, I mean, you or this person, Leo, in the past, when you thought someone thought they were ready and they weren't, it could be that they had more lessons to learn, let's just say. So let's see. One more time, please. Can you get the top eight cards from this third deck? And then I'll go through the spread. All right. Holy moly, the way you feel about this person, Leo, is strong. Uh, I will go through it shortly. Okay. Mm hmm. Oh my giddy aunt. The Empress and the Emperor have just come out on this third layer in order. The Empress first and then the Emperor came out. Wow. Mm. Okay, all right. <laughs> okay, very interesting. Uh, at the bottom of this deck is the Initiate of Swords, who, uh, Six of Swords, and the Fool and the, <laughs> the Novice of Swords. So uh, there's the Initiate and the Six of Swords, the Fool and the Novice of Swords. I was just about to start talking about how in this deck uh, you don't get pages, knights, kings, queens. You get um, different levels of uh, like skill levels of the different suits. So an, an Initiate is someone who's definitely grown from the Novice. They've started to learn their craft, but they're not necessarily a master of it just yet. But they've made improvements from the novice and then funnily enough the novice is further down yeah yeah see underneath the novice oh, there's the novice there's the chariot but in this deck the chariot is it almost shows basically you could say there's there's people in the background here who are kind of let's go let's get on the road let's get like let's get this moving already and then there's someone who's who's pausing you could say it's a like part of their group, they need that person to be on board as well and they're, for some reason they're dragging their feet or or there's some sort of unexpected delays. Hmm. I definitely get the sense that there was some, oh, why have I moved the novice one? Sorry, one second. I definitely, I get the sense that in the past with the fool right next to the novice, there it was like there was an idea and someone wanted to jump into that idea immediately. Um, but as a result of maybe there were some issues, there maybe some issues have come up. There's actually going to be um, a learning opportunity, basically, a chance to level up, if you like, from the fact that with the six of swords here, that suggests you're going to have to get out the Five of Swords, which I, I feel like this connection may have recently been in like a Five of Swords kind of energy, issues with communication, issues with honesty potentially, um, and yeah, some, like a challenge, obviously. It's almost like if you were able to move past the, the troubled waters in this connection, um, which is going to be giving you that opportunity, it will in the process level you, them, both of you up in some way, um, which is going to give this connection more of a chance in the long term. Hmm. All right, let's get into it, Leo, without further ado. So, um, how you're feeling about this person? Well, we have got the world the Ace of Cups and the Death card. There we go. Um, so Scorpio energy there as well. I mean, when the world came out, I or, or straight away I was feeling that the the sense that you feel like you see this person almost as 
not only as you're ready for the next chapter of your life with them, but also that this is like the, um, this is what everything else has been leading to. This is the culmination of who you have become to this point in your life was leading you to stepping into this new beginning, this new chapter with this person. Like you are, refl it's like you, this person, this connection is also has causing you to reflect on everything that you've been through in the past, good and bad, and who you have become as a result. And it's, you feel very much ready. And I was gonna say that, and then the Ace of Cups comes out, new chapter of in love, and then the Death card. This is like, um, you're ready for to be initiated into what this will bring. Um, maybe this is, you feel like this is going to be a, a higher, more serious level of a, a, a loving relationship than you may have experienced before. It's like everything was leading to this one is how you're feeling about this person and you're ready. You're, you're ready to embrace the change. You're ready to, um, you're ready to level up with that death card. You see this, um, girl is kind of going through like an initiation ceremony kind of, and willingly being blindfolded by the others, but it's, it's to be welcomed. I don't get a, a sinister sense from this. It's to be welcomed into, you could say, um, an elite level or, you know, the inner circle, you know, people who've, who've reached a, a new level that you hadn't before and you feel willing, um, you know, this could be a bit of trepidation. It could be, a, a also accepting that everything that you've been through before is that is going to be that's finito it's time for you know when that death energy comes out it's also about leaving behind a past um way of living and a way of feeling and thinking and stepping into the new but i definitely don't see it i don't get a sense of hesitation at all from you about this so let's clarify see if there's anything else you want to tell me uh the cards want to tell me that's interesting so the four of cups has just floated out but it floated out sideways like this. And the hanged man is at the bottom of this deck, bearing in mind, as I said, it was at the bottom of the second deck, as I showed you. So there could have been a time when it came to this connection, when you weren't sure if you were, this is what you wanted. If this maybe not just this connection, but like the idea of something serious or um, being in, in a relationship, it maybe, there was a, a time that you were going through where you weren't even sure if that's what you wanted. But uh, the hanged man again, I definitely get the sense that this connection, or even if this is a brand new connection, there has been, a, uh, although I, I do feel like there might be some history with this person, but anyway, there has been a time where you've been in that hanged man in the kind of limbo in nothing happening it would seem on the surface, nothing has been happening. Quite a lot has been actually happening in terms of, um, on a subconscious spiritual level, if you like. But I, I feel like at one time, what this connection now represents and that level up that I was just talking about that you are willing to be initiated into by being with this person. I think that at one time you're know, like, no, I'm not even sure if I want something like that or if that that's for me kind of thing. But I, I feel like that has changed. So anything else you can tell me about how Leo feels about this person that's coming through? The what, hold on, let's cover her up a bit. The world for, I mean, the world is your first card out. So same card. Queen of Cups, wow. Okay, hold on. So I do get the sense that you feel like this person is extremely warm and, and kind, male or female, doesn't matter, but um, it, they could have shown you some sort of kindness, generosity, or a very like loving, nurturing side, maybe you feel like they may have, I'm getting a sense they may have helped you when you were in some sort of uh, diet, like, you know, you were going through a rough patch of some sort, maybe like monetarily or just in life in general, things were, 
things were feeling uh, difficult and you, this person you may have seen like a real kindness and um, emotional generosity from this person that uh, that you're very like you, you uh, associate that with them if you like now why did the three of cups come out because I just wonder if to embrace uh, properly this new a new beginning with this person there may be somebody else that needs to be um, wrapped up. <laughs> I'm trying. It's not really a third party. I suppose it is a third party, but it's not like a. This is a, a love triangle or anything. I get more the sense that it's just an acceptance that to go through that initiation into something serious with this person. It's an understanding that that also does mean wrapping up um, any loose ends with people that, you know, may have been casually dating as well. Tell me about the Three of Cups. Oh. Six of Cups. Okay. Three of Cups, Six of Cups. Thank you. Ace of Wands, Nine of Swords in reverse. Wow. All right. I mean, I'm also just getting that this could be someone that you had a friendship with previously. As I, I was just saying, I described what that that Queen of Cups energy was giving me. Um, so it could have been someone that there was a friendship with. Now, I do get the sense that you do have a history with this person. And it's kind of, it's also a reflection of, with that Four of Cups, this may have been someone that you only wanted friendship with before. Uh, or something casual or friendship with benefits or, you know, something lighthearted. Um, that's definitely changed. I I definitely see that you're now, Leo, you're now feeling like this is more serious with with reflection. It's just constantly across this reading. It's like with looking back, with thinking about it, with going on your own journey of discovery about yourself, about what you want, um, that you want... Uh, a very strong new beginning with this person ace of wands ace of cups and you're not really it's not bothering you i'm getting a very like chilled sense from your energy leo you're it's kind of like you're quite confident about this and you're ready you i just keep getting you feel ready to embrace this and you're ready for the new beginning with this person i yeah definitely it could have been that yeah previously it was more of a casual thing and you didn't really know if you wanted it properly but now you do so how is this person feeling about you leo well we have the sun the ace of wands and the elder of swords there you go so you've both got aces from the same deck in fact they literally came out one after another about how you feel about each other so you're both um it could also be that you both feel like if it hasn't already then there's going to be an opportunity on the horizon for a new something new starting with this person like a the beginning of something now even if you know them already which i think the majority of you will do um it's the it's the change it's from um we've been kind of mm, is this is this happening is this not we haven't been talking for a while um are we going on our first official date and this is now the start of a relationship or you know it's the it's the beginning where you're going to look back and be like, oh, everything changed from that day, if you like. Um, so, but they also feel, I mean, with the sun, they feel, I get this sense of real potential that they feel when it comes to you. Um, they feel like you could potentially make them very happy, and but they are very attracted to you, Leo. Um, they feel uh, excited. There's also with this Elder of Swords, I mean, that is, they could feel like this connection has already taught them a lot. That there is, mm, hold on, let me just start clarifying because I just need to know what this Elder of Swords is doing. What deck, this deck. Um, tell me more about how this person is feeling about Leo, please. Why is this? Ah, uh, page of wands in reverse with the five of wands. So, okay, <laughs> I don't want to say that. Hold on, why is the elder of swords here? 
the page of wands in reverse is kind of like um uh, someone who sent maybe says some really immature things uh has an immature streak about them or like an immature sense of humor or something like that and five of wands it could be that that has led to uh arguments or conflict between the two of you it's almost like <laughs> What I got when I saw when I saw that was that they may feel like <sighs> it's almost like you know when you you really enjoy someone's company but then you're just like now and then they just say something really stupid and it really riles me up the wrong way. That's what I got off of that. So it, it's like someone saying something before they they think they speak before they think kind of thing. So that this person might feel like that about you, Leo. Obviously, if it's you don't think that's for you then just don't take it for that's some for someone um and with this elder of swords that's a very like it's just like a very someone who's very wise and um intellectual and a little bit of like uh mi <sighs> okay just tell me why is the elder of swords here how this person feels about leo high priestess in reverse Two of Swords in Reverse with the Fool in Reverse. Wow. And the Page of Swords. <laughs> God. This, this reading, Leo, is uh, already difficult for me to try and say without uh, being whilst being diplomatic. So basically what I'm getting is that this person kind of feels about you is that... It's almost, again, with the High Priestess in Reverse, that is almost like a... a a foolishness because it's like knowing it would be like intuitively knowing uh well this isn't going to go down well or i'll if i say this, this is going to annoy people or i'm going to etc i'm not connecting with like it's like reading the room <laughs> okay that's it this person feels like you can't read the room <laughs> leo sometimes don't shoot the messenger this is what i'm getting from the cards and uh, it, it, with this two of swords in reverse, with the, with the fool in reverse, I mean, the two of swords is like, there's, there's no go, there's no more, yeah, but the fool in reverse, I just realised that's absolute foolishness as well, the fool in reverse. So, what I'm going to say is that, oh God, this person feels like there is potential between the two of you that they're very, uh, there's attraction there and they, you make them, you cheer them up, you make them very happy. I mean, but it's, but the page of swords, that's like that novice of swords energy I was talking about at the beginning. It's a, it's someone really at the beginning of the craft of like knowing what to say, when to say it, like, you know, reading the room, reading it, get, picking up on people's uh, the vibe, people's feelings, the seriousness of a situation, the lightheartedness situ lightness of another situation kind of thing. Um, it's, I just feel like this person may be like, look, I feel like there is potential between Leo and I, um, but they, they might feel like you, they might need to see a more, um, serious side to you leo um for there to be long-term potential hmm. okay i'm gonna leave it there for now because it just keeps giving giving me that same kind of message so we'll see well i can always come back to it but what happened in the past between you and this person leo we have got the lovers the queen of cups and the three of wands there we go. So Gemini energy with the lovers um, and the Queen of Cups. So the lovers is the, the two of you in the past. I feel like you there was a spark. There was a connection that was formed or um, or acknowledged by both of you. You were both aware that there was something there, that there was something there was romance in the air between the two of you. Um, there, I do see this sort of sense of enjoying each other's company having a good time you know feelings were um sparked and started to grow with that queen of cups i mean that is a lot of emotion as well she's she's um the queen that like associated with kind of overflowing unconditional love and emotions so 
there was some there was like a real emotional intensity in the past between you and this person then we have that three of wands then we see waiting now it could have been that someone was left waiting for a message because i see this uh this girl on the three of wands is at her computer um, and I just got the sense that she might be waiting for an email to come in or, you know, an instant messenger if anyone uses their computer anymore for that. But you know what I mean? Uh, it's like, I feel like someone was waiting for things to continue to progress. Um, maybe like kind of just trying to get on with their work um, and patiently waiting for this situation to move forward. Tell me more about what happened in the past in this connection. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, there we go. So the Ace of Swords came out with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. And then the Five of Wands. And the Death card at the bottom of the deck. So, Ace of Swords with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. It's funny because I was just talking about how someone was sat there waiting for this to progress. And then essentially it seems that the truth or someone realised that no offer was actually coming. So if this was, for example, for you, Leo, maybe this felt more like a casual situation or something you were enjoying this person's company or also enjoying the company of other people. This was just a dating phase and or maybe you weren't ready for anything too serious when you were first engaging with this person. By the way, if this whole reading is reversed for you and you feel like it's the other way around, just flip it. It's absolutely fine. Um, but essentially, this person, I, I feel like in the past, because I do get the sense that it was you, Leo, who's, who you're now ready 100% for to like to go forward and be initiated into something more serious. But in the past, that wasn't the case. So I feel like in the past, what happened was this person realised they were waiting for Godot as the play goes. So, you know, waiting um, ad nauseum and waiting for something that was never going to come. And there and that led to conflict and that may have led this kind of realization that they were waiting for nothing, uh, I feel like caused the whole vibe of the connection to uh, transform, not necessarily in a positive way, I would say, because it transformed under the energy of the five of wands. It transformed through conflict. So yeah, I think things went a bit pear-shaped when this person realized that they were and also they were they were fired up with this emotion. You may be dealing with a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or someone with those uh, that one of those signs strongly in their chart. If I could speak today, um, but uh, yeah, they were fired up with a, their emotions were, you know, blooming. They were. It's like you, you, you engaged the emotional drive in this person, and then there was a long wait. Um, yeah, and then they realized they were waiting for nothing. So, well, that's what they came to decide was the truth that you could say no that wasn't the case there were other mitigating mitigating circumstances but as far as this person was concerned in the past that's how they feel like it went so what is this person's current situation two of wands ten of swords and the empress um so i feel like this person uh, I do say their current situation is that they uh, kind of get the sense that they have a choice coming up um, or they're going to have a choice put to them. Now, it could be, again, it could be when this, because you both feel like it's aces about each other, it could be when this new opportunity for a new beginning between each other arises and, and is fully on the table. But this person's situation is seeing that they have to make a choice. Uh, now, it could be that they need to choose between two situations and they need to end one or the other. Or it could be that they're going to have a choice about a situation that they already thought was over with that Ten of Swords. Um, now, there is a, a sense of trepidation I'm getting from them about having to make this choice. Um, because with the Empress, you could be dealing with someone, and again, flip the roles, it's the other way around, but the Empress is the Divine Feminine, she's um, she's that very nurturing energy, and 
that being in their situation as well is telling me that they um, are in a very good place in terms of they're looking after potentially you know their friends their family their loved ones they're looking after themselves they look they have a beautiful home that you know everything is going pretty smoothly they're in a, the empress energy is one of the highest frequencies of energy from the tower to be in and it's their current situation so i would say they it could be that they are they, i'm getting this nervousness off this two of wands about potentially this coming towards them and they need to make a choice about it because they could feel like they already got, uh, feel like they went through an ending which was very painful in this situation and they are in a good place. So do they want to give themselves a chance to be put back into another situation where they're going to get hurt again? So anything else you can tell me about this person's current situation? Tell me about that two of wands. Mm -hmm. page of wands I think it's um I think it's communication but I, as I was, was trying to say delicately they already felt about you Leo the page of wands in reverse so it, it could be if you have gotten you've reached out to this person that they feel like this same page of wands is coming towards them and bearing in mind they are in the Empress energy and the Page of Wands is several, several, several leagues uh, of a and below an Empress. So let's, I'm not, oh, this definitely could be that Crosswatch is reading, right? Let's see. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I was talking about that and then the Page of Wands comes out with the King of Pentacles on top and the Seven of Pentacles. So that's interesting. Okay, this person may have a choice to make, Leo, and it could be that they have a choice between a page of wands and a king of pentacles. Because there's also this energy that they have to make a choice one way or another, or they might have to choose to end one situation over another. Tell me about the, uh, the page of wands, please. And that seven of pentacles that was at the bottom, this is also a choice for this person to decide who they want to invest their, in, invest their time, invest their attention, their love. Tell me about the page of wands, please. Mm, page of wands. Thank you. Queen of Swords has come out, but it landed on top of the Elder of Swords from how they're feeling about you. Bang on top. I don't know if this person in the past, Leo, uh, was said something pretty harsh to you or blunt, let's just say. Um, I feel like because what, what it's giving me is that They feel like they had to, um, I almost get the sense this, uh, this person feels like there was some sort of, something that crossed their boundaries uh, and they had to put a stop to that pretty quickly. They may also feel, I've just realized about, about you, that there was a new beginning with you already on the table which was very passionate and which was laden with potential and they felt wow this is someone who could really make me happy um with that new beginning was right there and it was very passionate and exciting but what it came to was then there was too much too many signs for this person of immaturity or uh, it doesn't have to be that you were immature it could just be that i i got the sense from you leo that previously you weren't you actually ready for this you are now but when i say immature it could just be it had the what the vibe that they were getting was that this had you weren't in a place if you think of like um you weren't ripe <laughs> like a fruit um to actually to be eaten it was like they felt like it, I, i'm saying immature but it's more just like it, the 
um, this just wasn't time to pluck the fruit and eat it. It was like, and I feel like this person may have a bit of short patience with that Queen of Swords and Elder of Swords energy is giving me that they might cut something off quite quickly if they feel like it's a waste of their time or that this is someone who's not serious about them. And they're looking for uh, essentially someone in that King of Pentacles energy or an emperor who's serious about commitment and long-term and is someone reliable. Um, so I, it could either be that they have two people coming towards them, you and somebody else, Leo, um, and they, have to decide one or the other is there's gonna they have to say uh, like put an end to one or the other situation or it's just that they see you coming back towards them you know or they see a message from you and they are yeah they're left wondering is this going to be the same kind of unripe fruit that it was before hmm Four of Wands has just come out. <laughs> Page of Cups with the Sun and the Hierophant. And the Four of Wands, wow. Hmm. Sorry, the... I live, above, I live above a pub and they're once again being crazy noisy, which is just distracting me a little bit. So um, essentially, they, the Page of Cups can be uh, like a someone showing interest in them as well. I, I definitely get the sense that this person might have a choice between you when you come back towards them, Leo, and somebody else. Uh, or it's just that they do want to actually find love and to be happy but they only want that with someone who's serious and that's what i'm getting is that it's like otherwise they'll just be an empress on their own basically so what does this person wish would happen in the connection between the two of you we have got the queen of wands the ten of pentacles and the emperor okay so <laughs> Bearing in mind, they are in the Empress, I was just talking about it, and what they want to happen is, apart from the Queen of Wands, they want the Ten of Pentacles and the Emperor. But it's interesting that the Empress isn't here. Uh, I think this is quite telling because I think basically, Leo, what this is saying is that the Emperor, generally, is an energy of taking charge, taking the bull by the horns, taking the reins, and initiating, moving things forward, guiding the ship, you know? Male or female, doesn't matter. Um, the Queen of Wands in this situation, in this context, is kind of someone just um, enjoying life. Um, you know, being someone who is very carefree. Um, you know, she's, she's happy in herself. She has her self-confidence. She doesn't... Um, she's not questioning herself i just get the sense because the queen of wands again is not on a um an energetic match with an emperor an empress would be but it's almost like this what this person would like is for the emperor which it, i would say would be you leo in this context to you to take control i really feel like this is a crosswatch reading to be honest um they what they would like is for you to take control. And they would also, I'm getting the sense that because it's come out as the Queen of Wands, that this energy does not want to be the boss, funnily enough, um, because what they would like is to find someone who is um, like the head of a household, who they can rely on to be getting stuff done and can be a, a long-term partner with that Ten of Pentacles. Um, and just, they what they want, I would say, is for you, Leo, to step up and um, be coming through quite serious here. Or obviously, it could be that they want a level of seriousness with the Emperor. Um, and also someone that is respected in the community, I'm getting as well. Uh, someone that people look up to that they can look at, that's it. They want to look up to you, essentially, Leo. 
and I'm not saying that they don't at the moment, but I'm getting the feeling that they may have got the, the impression from you that you were not serious in the past, I'll just put it like that. And what they want now is to actually feel like you are serious and this is um, would be something that they could invest in and give their um, their passion to, basically. Uh, is there anything else? What this person wishes would happen in the connection with Leo? Thank you. King of Wands. King of Wands has come out. Okay. With the Page of Wands. Yep. Yeah, the High Priestess and the Two of Cups. They may also want you to, or, or, or they, to leave something else in the past. Mm -hmm. And um, it could be with this King of Wands and Page of Wands, it could be uh, a temptation to be flirting, be um, sparking new conversations, to be uh, kind of... I'm really drawn with this King of Wands card. You see how there are like hands. I'm really drawn to this one, like tapping him on the on the the back, um, and then this Page of Wands is this like. Well, she's Hemera from uh, Greek mythology, but it's like this. I I'm getting the sense that this. It's almost like they they want you to leave behind, or the, the boat for both of you to leave behind distractions from other attractions sparks of interest etc and because with that high priestess and the two of cups this is like let's be real there's something serious here there's a the two of us really connect head and heart there is an undeniable connection between the two of us and it's something that we can't really define or be like i don't I, you know it's not tangible as such with this high priestess energy um it's just something that we both know is there so can we just make a choice to yeah i i really get a sense of leave behind i think that again i feel like they want the king of wands to leave behind being distracted by potentially other you know interests and step up into the emperor basically i hope that makes sense what is the block or the challenge to this connection moving forward, Leo? We have the Queen of Swords, the Seven of Swords, and the Hermit card. So, essentially, that Queen of Swords, this is also how this person came out just a moment ago. So I really feel like, essentially, the, the block here is that this person is coming through in this connection, Leo. At this point, they may feel like either they caught you are in some sort of deception or you know being sneaky in some way and now they feel like there's a there's some trust issues basically that have been brought about from that there's also this hermit energy which is there's been a lot of time i feel like in isolation um maybe thinking trying to find answers trying to find reasonings trying to find reasons and solutions and it i what i'm actually getting from this hermit card which i wouldn't normally say is that during a lot of time of isolation and thinking someone i feel like this person has drawn a lot of conclusions about this situation and you potentially and essentially what they they feel like they they now they have you figured out Leo, but it's not necessarily in a positive light with that Seven of Swords. They feel like they, but it's also been born out of a lot of time ruminating and uh, I'm kind of getting like minority report, you know, with someone like, which is it's funny that that's the film that's popped into my head because that's about kind of um, someone being 
defined as guilty for a crime they haven't yet committed but were about to commit because someone put all the you know minority report someone put all the 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 evidence together that and decided that this person was guilty before they'd actually committed the crime that's really funny that that's come into my head because that's kind of what i'm getting this the the challenge here this person is like feels like they've already got you figured out leo and it's it's that of deception and um yeah they may have the wrong impression of you to be fair um tell me more because i just got, got the message from the start that there was may have been mitigating circumstances that caused a delay but i feel like this person uh put two and two together and and got seven if you like anything else you can tell me about the challenge to this connection this is the ace of pentacles okay why is the ace of pentacles a challenge is this that they that there is also already also a new beginning going on what is this ace of pentacles Two of Cups. That's too many. Hold on. Why is it, why the Ace of Pentacles and Two of Cups? Why is that a challenge? King of Pentacles. There he is again. Okay. Two of Pentacles and in reverse on the Eight of Cups. So essentially, I also feel that their their other challenge is that because this person thought that the situation with you was already over, um, they may have there may also be some sort of new other new beginning happening with them with a King of Pentacles. So they already thought this situation with you was something that the two of you had left in the past and walked away from. Um, so it's like that as far as they were concerned, the connection with you was no longer a factor in, in some sort of deciding decision making or a factor when a new opportunity presented itself. And that has also changed the changed the game of the, the field of play. Is that a phrase? <laughs> Anyway, okay, interesting. So what action is this person, I would normally say, most likely going to take towards you next, Leo? We have the Knight of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Two of Cups. Okay. I mean, I definitely see that there is collaboration with that eight of pentacles of the two of you both putting work and effort in together um but the thing is with this this two of cups this is also this person is really being very authentic to themselves when it comes to their feelings how can i put that so that makes any sense um And that Knight of Cups, they do, they are still interested in you, Leo, funnily enough. They are going to kind of feel like the call towards you. But I just wonder, because, how, tell me about the action this person's most likely going to take towards Leo. Yeah, that's more what I was getting. Nine of Swords and Ten of Wands. That is really stressed and burdened. Oh, yeah, I knew it. Underneath the Ten of Wands is the Two of Wands. And bearing in mind that is what I was talking about the whole time about this person. Didn't I say the trepidation that was coming up with this Two of Wands card in their situation? And then we have, well, trepidation is putting it mildly with the Nine of Swords and the Ten of Wands about this choice. So... They are very stressed. 
by the by the idea of making um, this choice. So why is the Knight of Cups here? Two of Wands has now come out and the Seven of Wands is at the bottom of the deck and the Seven of Wands is someone really keeping their distance. I, I feel like what I was getting off the Knight of Cups, it may be more because you feel the Ace of Cups about this person. So it may be more that they feel like this... They're kind of looking at, at the horizon and the, the possibilities. They are considering this. And it could be that they are considering... Um, opening up their feelings to this again. But it's a very hesitant. It's very hesitant. It's also... I feel like it, it may feel like a pie in the sky kind of uh, doesn't really feel real. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. And, and I do get a sense of them keeping their distance it's why is the eight of pentacles here then? <laughs> Seven of pentacles and justice. I feel like they are keeping their distance, to be honest. What I mean is that um, if you, I, I get the sense, I'm going to ask in a second what action you're going to take. So again, I feel like this is a crossroad watcher's reading. But if you were coming towards this person with this ace of cups, I feel like they are, it's it's once again, like, fluttering their feelings, if you like. Like, that they have, at this point, tried to accept that they should just shut that off inside themselves. It's, it's reopening that shut door slightly. But they are conserving their, well, conserving judgment, I guess. They're not making a decision on it just yet, because I feel like they're also seeing what you do, Leo. Because... It's almost like they will give as much as you give potential. Mm, mm. No, sorry, that's not right. <laughs> I was just going to say that because of the just of the scales and this eight of pentacles card shows these two people both building something together. But the fact that this seven of pentacles, I mean, look at this little cute ra raccoon family that are kind of, well, storing, storing away the effort. It's almost like this person feels like they did more or they need to see more from you. They want to be a bit like this Queen of Wands who gets looked after by the Emperor. So essentially for them, they're extremely stressed about the idea of making a choice about this. So it's like they want to see the effort and see what comes of it first. See what effort you're putting in um, first. Because they, they it's almost like they feel like there is a there was an imbalance created about what happened in the past between the two of you. So they feel like the balance will be restored by maybe at first seeing if you put more effort in than they do. I, again, I, I get the sense they want to be the queen of wands and they want you to take charge with the emperor. So, um, quickly, let me get this one. What action is Leo? What action is Leo most likely going to take towards this person in the near future? Get an extra question, Leo. I don't I haven't been doing this for the other signs. What action is Leo most likely? What action is Leo most likely? Thank you. Two of Pentacles and the Two of Swords has come out. King of Cups. Ten of Cups with the wow. Well. The Sun, Jesus Christ. <laughs> My language. Wheel of Fortune with the Tower. What on earth? Why? Why is the Two of Pentacles with the Two of Swords before I say anything? Mm 
Leo, 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 okay. So for you, Leo, it seems like, oh, my hair is massive, sorry. <laughs> it seems like for you, the action is to, you're transitioning from one part of your life, if you like, to another. And until that happens fully, you don't feel like you can actually do anything. So maybe with this two of pentacles, two of swords, that's like you're one foot in one foot in the past, one foot in the future. You're still now at first when the, I thought maybe you're going to see if there's any potential here for the two of you to work together. And if there isn't, you'll step straight back out again. But then the rest came out and it's like you, you for you, you're very focused on maybe something else with the king of cups looking at this ten of cups in the sun you're all about happiness you're all about maybe your own contentment and happiness but there is some sort of twist of fate with the tower and the wheel of fortune that um you don't it's it's actually <laughs> it's going to actually manifest a lot of happiness, the happiness that you are focused on right now, but you don't even know that this is leading you in that direction. I hope this is making any sense. Um, what is the tower? With the wheel of... Wow. Uh, the... Oh. <laughs> Tell me about Wow, my God. So death has come out with the tower and the wheel of fortune. Um, why is... What is the nature of all this change? Um, this is such a weird message, Leo, so, and it's a lot that's just come out at quite near the end of the reading, so bear with me here. Um, but effectively, I, my question, I just thought I'll innocuously ask what action is Leo most likely going to take towards this person, but it's like something else actually comes up, to be honest, because death on top of the tower and the wheel of fortune, this is a, a curveball from the universe that you were not expecting that is actually going to change. Um, it feels like there's something else. Uh, it might be to do with your work or finances or home um, that is not finished. It's not actually complete that you thought was complete. Um, it may mean that something to do with your uh independence your financial stability i have to be honest now I'm, it's gonna be um stress and conflict basically has this already happened though or is this what happened because it's it feels like this is the unexpected mitigating circumstances and because of that it's stressed it it stressed you out i mean i feel like this is in the past hold on i've just realized because you're now feeling the world upright and this i feel like this is what happened in the past you were about to potentially jump into something um with a very open uh open kind of frame of mind of yeah let's let's jump into this and then there was the curveball. This is what hap this is what happened in the past. Sorry, that took me a minute because my question was, what action are you going to likely take towards this person? So essentially, that this person is probably doesn't also feel like it's really their choice anymore. They did feel like, as in, what what action can they take towards you? Because they feel like it's already over.
I feel like there was something with you that came up with your finances, career, or your home, which well, there was a lot of um, arguments, stress, and this is what you, it like completely threw off. You were focused on finding love, happiness with the King of Cups, Ten of Cups, the Sun, and and you know ready to take a leap into a new um, commitment, something serious, and then shit hit the fan, and you couldn't even think about everything you were previously focused on. You couldn't, it, that, that is what put you into the Two of Swords about this, because you're, you were completely distracted in the past. So when it comes to action, this person's going to take now, they still, uh, they still basically have fond feelings towards you, Leo, but essentially action, no. This is what I was getting at with this Two of Cups, is that they are going to be pouring into themselves. They think about how, they're going to be thinking about how it could have worked between the two of you. God, that took me so long to get to. I'm so sorry, guys. I haven't, <laughs> uh, uh, normally a bit smoother than this, so I apologize and I hope this makes sense. So basically, yeah, this person, I don't see them, I don't see them taking any action, to be honest, Leo, because as I said, they what they want is for you to take the lead. And all they feel like is that it's already over. Um, so it's it's up to you. It still didn't really tell me what action you might take. It just took, kind of explained what happened in the past. Let's try this one. Is Leo going to take any action towards this person that's coming through in this reading? devil in reverse it's always nice to see ace of wands just slammed out with the chariot at the bottom of the deck <clears throat> what does that mean in terms of action Three of Wands with the Queen of Swords. <laughs> I'll have to show you this. Look at this Queen of Swords. Who is this person in this reading? Male or female, doesn't matter. They're coming through as the Queen of Swords. Um, and they have their binoculars out watching you approach on your chariot, Leo. And then look at this Two of Wands card. It's literally... Can you see down there? There's like people horse-drawn or on horses and this person is watching that person approach or the people approach and I was saying about how they have the trepidation of realizing they're going to have to make a choice about this because they see you coming up their drive effectively and then that came out with them, like with their opera glasses like watching you come towards them so um I feel like whatever it was that suddenly put a complete curveball in your life and put um like, put you in the hanged man, effectively, Leo. Uh, I think that was something to do about your independence and your financial security. I feel like you have got that off your back and you've closed that out. But, um, so, and um, when that happens, maybe that's still, you're still in the transition of wrapping that up. Maybe that's what was also the other deck was trying to tell me. But when you do, I feel like you're then going to take action towards this person, but they're going to be... Just to let you know, in that kind of Queen of Swords energy of very um, nervous about your approach. Because, well, they they went full Queen of Cups in the past about this. And then they ended up with Ten of Swords in it. So, yeah, they're now coming across in a different energy. And so what is happening in the connection between the two of you going forward the next few weeks, the next month from when you come across this reading? We have got the Four of Cups, the Nine of Swords and the Seven of Cups. So there's just, this is just, I mean, this is someone feeling disappointed, overlooked, alone, uh, stressed out of their little mind with the Nine of Swords, imagining scenarios with the Seven of Cups. Um, also, um, this could be both of you. This could just be this person. This could be you because you want this. You want this Ace of Cups. You want the to be initiated into the next stage of your life with this person but you might be thinking they'll they're going to reject me now you know they have other options um i do see a lot of fear here with this combination a lot of uh negative thinking as well um 
it could just be this person feeling alone, feeling rejected by you. Um, but they are in this kind of empress energy. So this, I don't know. Let's just quickly clarify anything else you can tell me about. About what's going to be happening in the connection going forward. King of Wands. Leo oh this reading's a uh, real toughy so we've got the nine of wands that came out which is kind of like you know someone kind of hiding in the bushes watching a situation from a distance which kind of I just got in my head kind of getting half of the information and thinking that they know exactly what's going on as well uh it's uh, which is also this kind of like nine of swords just someone really feeling like all is lost when they don't really have a clear picture. And what else came out is the, the moon, the four of wands behind the moon. And the king of wands with the four of pentacles. I mean, that that king of wands, four of pentacles is, is a real um, very selfish energy of like someone really out for themselves, quite mercenary. Um, very self-motivated and really but I don't know but when we've got the eight of swords at the bottom of the deck so I wonder if that's just what someone can't get past oh, yeah I split the deck and there's the five of wands as well um why is the moon with the four of wands behind it oh of course it's gone on the floor right at the end of the reading it's upside down as well one second Page of Cups in reverse. Wow. Why? High Priestess. Why is the moon with the Four of Wands? Damn. I mean, effectively... Uh, I just see this, someone knows not to reach out. They they know intuitively what they, that they shouldn't reach out. They shouldn't extend an olive branch with the page of cups in reverse. Um, wow. It could well be you, Leo, that you feel stressed and confused about this person and this connection maybe about whether you you might feel like you missed an opportunity with that four of cups um because it's almost like you're now getting half the information about i'm getting the half the information it feels like it's like you feel like you're watching this person hopefully not literally but like through the you know the bushes of their front garden and you're you don't know what's going on with that moon but you're imagining that they are living uh, in a happily you know new family commitment like uh, this sweet four of wands energy and they're having the most wonderful time in a new commitment without you kind of thing and you're just on the outskirts and but with this page of cups it came out with the the in reverse with the knight of the nine, knight of pentacles it's almost like you may feel like you know you still can't reach out and maybe extend the olive branch to this person yet because you're not quite ready yet you still are wrapping up the previous chapter of your life which was whatever probably came up um when this was in its kind of growing stage and uh caused it to come to an abrupt end because it's still not quite you're still in that kind of transition from the past to the future um so you know it's not the right time so right now you feel like the best thing to do is to do you um but you are worried and imagining all sorts of things uh because this connection isn't actually coming together right now but at the same time you know that it's not it's still not quite 
right the right time for you to make an offer because you can't make an offer yet that's what i've got for you this time leo i'm sorry it was a bit all over the place this time i hope it made sense to somebody i hope it was useful for someone possibly a cross watcher <laughs> and i wish you all my best i'll speak to you soon take care bye